of Bangor Mountain today. We love you, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name we pray. Amen.
Haleluya.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you this morning. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One and all, God bless you. Those of you sitting around here, God bless you this morning. We want to greet you all in Jesus' name. And uh, the name above all names. Amen. And uh, we don't greet you in anybody else's name, but the name of Jesus Christ. It's good to be with you this morning. And it's good to be here uh, just to sing about the, the wonderfulness and the glory and the beauty of Jesus. And that's all we are here to do this morning is just to witness about Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, I pray that you'll be blessed with the songs. I pray that you will be blessed with the testimonies. We have testimonies, right? We have testimonies. Ruth, you look like you got a testimony there, Ruth. Chrissy, you look like you got a testimony. Liz, you have a testimony, Liz. Praise the Lord. So we'll bless you with testimonies. We'll bless you with songs. Um, if you want a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, there's some coffee and tea there for you if you want. Help yourself. I was not hot yet. The water's not hot yet, but once the water's boiling, you can grab a cup of coffee and a cup of tea. So may God bless you. Enjoy the singing. If you know the song, sing with us. And all we are here to do this morning is sing about Jesus, tell about Jesus, talk about Jesus. And we're here to witness about Jesus this morning. So we'll talk a little later. But may God bless you. Thank you for stopping by. May you have a blessed day. And we greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. And our next song is...
there's no God like Jehovah. Choir, can I get an amen? There's no God like Jehovah. Anybody else out there agree with me? There's no God like Jehovah. Amen. He's the same. He's alive. He's not dead. I tell you what, He changes lives. He delivers. He heals. Any other Christians? No God like Jehovah. Care what the world says. We don't care what anybody says. There's no God like Jehovah. And this, this time of the year, it's my favorite time of the year. This time of the year, you know, when we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas and we're getting ready to celebrate. This is my favorite time. Because this is the time, this is what makes Christianity, Christianity. This time and Easter. We want to this morning, just with our songs and our testimonies, we want to just really express the real meaning of Christmas. What Christmas really means. What it means in our lives. What it means in the lives of our parents. What it means and even what it means in your life. We want to just share the gospel this morning. What Christmas means. How that God came down to dwell amongst man. How that God came to redeem mankind. How that God was born in a manger. Oh my, 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem he was born. But I'm so glad this morning to say he didn't, he was not only born, he did not only walk the seas of Galilee. But this morning he came back and he's living inside of us. Oh my, and to me that's the Christmas story. That how the God of heaven dwelled with man. And how the God of heaven dwelled with man. And then he sent back the Holy Ghost to come and dwell inside of us this morning. And so this morning, you know when we, Christmas, we wrap our gifts. We put a little bow on it. We put a little colors on it. But I believe the real Christmas gift this morning, when God of heaven can wrap himself in man. That to me is the Christmas story. The God of heaven can dwell inside of man this morning. Song. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed this morning and our water boiling. Is the water hot? You want a cup of coffee? Now, this is for me. For me. One of you at the back there, your mic cable is loose. One of you at the back, your mic cable is loose. Amen. So, may you be blessed with the next song. And like we said, you want a cup of coffee? You want a cup of tea? Help yourself at the table there this morning. God bless you. One, two.
body. He will be loving. That's how it all be. Let's try that again. Yes, he must. He will redeem us. He will hear us. When we call and when the affliction comes on the body, he will deliver us out of the door. That's our testimony. That's our testimony. Amen. So we try it again. Any other Christians here this morning? I know you are still awake. Amen. Let's try it again. Well, he has saved us. Now look at that. Make me louder. That back row, I'm going to get in the Amen. Any other Christians, you shout amen. All right? Well, he has saved us. Amen. Well, he has saved us. Amen. He will redeem us. Amen. He will hear us. Amen. When we call. Amen. And when affliction Amen. comes on the body. Amen. He will deliver us out of it all. Now that's our testimony, right? Amen. That's our testimony. As believers, if you were all black followers, you make a noise for the all blacks. You were a cricket father, you make a noise for them. We Jesus. We follow Jesus. And we believe in Jesus. Shall we try it again? Can we try it again? What's the word? Well, he has saved us. We're going to go louder. Anybody else? Any other witness? Well, he has saved us. He will redeem us. He will hear us. When we call on And when the friendship.
themselves and uh, just to tell them what the Lord means in their lives and you two are here you want to give a testimony Jesus in my life. 
I'm like, she grew up in a broken family and um, things weren't always great. Um, but through all of it, the Lord has really helped me. Um, and He delivered me a couple of years ago from this huge burden of unforgiveness. And of course, when you connect the dots, you know, um, in a broken family, somebody that wasn't there, that should have been there. And the Lord really filled that void in my life. And like, I don't know what you do, I don't know your life, but if he can forgive me, because he forgave me, I can forgive that person. And I met with that person, and honestly, there was no unforgiveness there. I can hug him, I can tell him I love him, and there was nothing. And I made my peace with him, and because of the Lord, and when I think of, we're coming up to Christmas, and how he was born for us in a way, in such a humble way that he came because he thought we were worth it. Amen. He left all of him and all the glory out there to come down and die for you. And I just, like, yeah, I'm a fool for crying in public, but I don't care because my Lord is my everything and he deserves to be shared. He deserves to be brought to you and he can come to you. He's offering that choice to you. He's such a gentleman, our Lord Jesus. You can go do whatever you want. Even in your last hour, he will still take you. So that's my testimony. God bless you. Oh, God bless you, Rick. God bless you. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. Let's hear a song or come with us.
time when God is real in your life. Amen. You listen to these testimonies, you can hear God is real. Amen. Can you get one more Jude? As you prepare for that song, can you get the song ready? Our next song is going to be called Waymaker. Amen. Young man, another young man. I'll let him tell you his age. And I'll let him tell you what Jesus means in his life. Amen. Amen. Hello, Tara. <coughs> My name is uh, Jude. My name is Jude, it's a public name, it's in the Bible. <clears throat> I'm from South Africa, so obviously I don't have an accent. Um, I'd just like to say something. I was, I was raised in the church. And you know, it's not easy. The God I serve, you can cast all your burdens on him. There's no sadness. There's no sorrows. The God I serve. He can give you, he can give you all the freedom you want to. But yet people abuse that freedom, church. Eh? People. The God I serve. He lets people choose how they love, it, how they love their life. And then, you know, standing here, it's not, it's not easy to, to testify or say something, but I love my God so much. I've been born in the church, been raised since birth. You, re you realize a lot of things, things that happen out there in the world. My, you go through a lot of mind battles, and you just pray to God. I see a lot of kids going through a lot of problems and trials. And I just thank God for the privilege He's given me and, and, where, and where I stand now. Thank you. 
what have we done? So let's, audience, give me a chain! That was terrible. That was terrible. If I say, who loves the All Blacks? Alright, that's alright. So give me a chain! God bless you, Anthony. Have a blessed Christmas, blessed New Year. And remember, the greatest story is that Jesus can live in the heart of man. That's the Christmas story. God bless you. Amen. Until we meet again.